All right, today. All right, wait a second here. I was uh, gone all last week on a trip, and when I returned, the students had told me that they made a video from the training they got from the uh, adjunct replacement, who was a former student, uh, Robert Vanderbush. Just want to say thank you for uh, stepping in for three days of electrical, and from what I'm seeing, and you folks out there on YouTube are about to see, looks like there was a lot of learning going on. Great job, guys. Hit it, CJ. We are gonna be doing a load continuity test through a stator using a 12 volt battery and a 50 watt uh, headlight. So what we're gonna start off with our positive connection using a 10 amp fuse. We're gonna put it in through the positive and we're going through the light bulb, which will also confirm our continuity once we get it set up. And then from the light bulb, we're going out of, and we will hook onto one of the coils from the stator. So if we ground out, we should have continuity and a load going through the stator, just going between the A and C terminals. As you can see, the light has come on, so we know that those two coils and wave are fine. And if we move over and do coils A and B, once again, and then our third test would be going from B to C, and we still have that. So we know that all three of the coils are fine, and the internal integrity of the insulation on the inside of the stator is fine. Here's a copy of the actual lab sheet that the students received that I made to demonstrate Suzuki's model of how to load test the stator. What you're going to see is the same way that you would hook up a continuity meter, except we're using the light bulb as a way to push approximately on low beam about 5 amps through the stator windings to, you know, quote unquote, dyno test the stator, if you will. Pretty cool method. But to do a second one to verify that out as well, you can go off any of the three coils and you can try to ground out. Let's go the other way. Once again, this will look familiar, just like hooking up a continuity tester, except we're loading it with the light bulb. Now, if that light bulb were to light when you take the ground wire and touch it to the frame or the iron core of the stator, if you will, that would mean that the stator's bad and the five amps, the heat, and load being pushed through there will sometimes show a stator that's bad or borderline that a regular continuity test wouldn't show. Just an absolutely awesome test. And as you see, there is no light on, which on these stators, you never want to be grounded out on the coils. So that's just saying, once again, reinforcing that the coil insulation and the each separate windings are not grounded out anywhere in the circuit. Keep branching. If you like what you see here, would you please share it? I'd love you to keep my platform going here on uh, technical education and uh, um, the ways to be great in your craftsmanship. So keep on wrenching and we'll see you again in the future. Thanks for being a subscriber and follower of the channel.